Hello, guys. Good evening. I am so sorry for the time, but my connection was giving me problems and I have to move to another spot. Yeah. Perdón por el retraso. Tuve problemas con la conexión y tuve que moverme. But I'm here. How are you? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, 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 um. Who's around? Who's around? Who's around? Orlando Núñez. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I do. Okay. Just one second. I will put my headphones. Okay. How's everything? Okay. I'm ready. How are you? I'm just fine. Just fine. You know, same old story. <laughs> okay. For me, it was... Uh... Kind of boring for the job, but at the same time, it was a great day. As I told you in the afternoon, or oh, I didn't remember it was in the morning. Yeah, you told me, you told me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will wait in for Monday and see what happens. Yeah. With and well, let's see. On Monday, I'm going to give you some tips at night okay and so and some tools that are going to help you okay that's fine so today's been a good day for you right yeah it was a wonderful day for me today it's nice i so can glad to hear it so glad to hear it thank you yeah it's nice when you have a, a, a an opportunity like that right yeah, I just want to take the opportunity because it's the only way that I can improve. Yeah, I mean, it's just a matter of time, you know, you need to keep on and and it takes time, but we mm -hmm. can do it. Yeah, yeah, I know that. But right now, I I know that classes is, is important too because we learn daily so many many different things and i told you before that i appreciate the opportunity that you give us to practice the speaking that is a big important thing i know the grammar yes. is too but at the at the time when you're trying to find a job the speaking is the most most important thing yeah of course i mean Everything got to be there, but speaking is very important and people really value. Yeah. And you're listening to because if if they uh, will be in the I'm losing you. I guess it's my connection. Oh, for real? Yeah. I can see that in the screen here. You are in yellow right now. And right now you are okay. Yeah, my connection is acting up. Oh, don't worry. Okay, and I need to report that. Give me just a second. Okay. Okay, let's see. Well, so nice to hear that that 
that you are getting that opportunity. It's nice. Yeah. I hope the best for Monday. Yeah, you will see that everything will yeah. will be okay. I mean, it's it's a good opportunity. You have to have first a good attitude and and it's nice. Actually, someone told me, uh, someone of the people who contact me today, um, that probably I can speak very, very well, but they're looking for people who has uh, a good attitude at the time that um, they have, they give you the opportunity to, to get the job. If you have a good attitude, that's okay for you. That's a yeah, plus that, for you. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, you gotta get there with the with the idea that you are getting it. And yeah, and someone of them. Well, I just received one call, and the girl told me that um they can offer me an account where I can improve faster to that's be great. a fluent person and that's that will be a great great uh opportunity know, actually a great opportunity yeah that's nice well so glad to hear it welcome to the class of Lambda. nice having you here thank you teacher let's see um, holman hello good evening <laughs> Hi, hi, teacher. Good, good How evening. are you, mister? Mm -hmm. So, 50-50. Oh, 50-50? Yes. No, no. How comes? Huh? How comes? Uh... Do you understand that expression? No. Okay. When I tell you how comes, what I mean is, uh, como asti? Ah, 50-50. Más o menos. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I will have to, I will, I will have to work Saturday and Sunday. I'm sorry, and repeat please. I I will have to work. Saturday and Sunday. Yes, and Ouch. this the these days are my day off. So I I have to work. Really? Uh, Asta. I'm sorry? Hello? Asta. Well, until 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 hasta yeah yeah that's uh, uh, until uh, uh until until um 12 until 12 okay uh, well, gonna be ha a hard weekend for you yes but today it was okay so I'm fine. Okay, that's nice. Yes. 
That's nice. Glad to hear it. Okay. Uh, well, welcome, Mister. Nice having you here. Well. Let's see. Carlos Elivaldo, good evening. How are you? Hello, Carlos. Let's Hello, see. teacher. Good, good evening. Good evening, Carlos Antonio. How are you? How's everything? I'm, so, I'm sorry, I didn't hear my name. Is, everything okay. is, is good, but I I have a little headache. Really? You got a headache? Yeah, but I just took a pill. Oh, that's great. Yeah, having headaches is uh, it's quite uncomfortable, right? Yeah, I think I am under stress. That's why. Most probably, I mean, yeah, guys, you work, you study, and it's difficult sometimes, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe. I only sleep five, uh, five hours every day. That's why I have stress. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that must be it. I mean, you gotta rest. It's important to rest. I know, but time fly, and I have to take advantage of the time. Because I don't want to be a, an old man in, without gold you know. yeah. well that's part of every day I mean we have to we have to make do with what we get we have to make do tenemos que acomodarnos we have to make do with what we get Okay. Well, Mister, welcome to the class. Nice having you here tonight. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thanks to you. Let's see, guys. Let me get the attendance so we can get rid of that step of the class. But Okay, let's see. Carlos Antonio Serrano Ario. Present teacher. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Present teacher. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Thank you. Gustavo Javier Ramírez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Marina. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Holman Saúl Quirón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Montarrosa. Juan Francisco Machala Montano. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Luis Mario Criello Guerrero. Present teacher. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. I'm right. Thank you. No problem. Orlando Francisco Núñez. 
Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Vilma Yeseni Alvarenga. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Francisimara Elizabeth Pismoro Posales. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Fernández. Marlon Jonathan Gutiérrez Quirón. Ok. Let's begin. Let's begin. Who else is around? Who else is around? Hmm. Oscar. Hello, Oscar. How are you? Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Uh, I'm doing fine. Uh, I need a rest. Oh, that's great. Nice. That's nice. And, oh, that's great. Oh, that's bad. Are you working tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. The eight hour uh, overtime. Ouch. That's bad. Yeah, bad. I like what? the rest. Yeah, I want course. to rest, but not game. Yeah, I know. What can we do, right? Yeah. I need a money. <laughs> well, mister, welcome to the class, Oscar. Nice having you here. Thank you. Yeah. Let's see. Carla, Carla, good evening. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry, what? Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. Very good. Great. Great. Did you have a good day? No. Come on, Carla. Hey, where's your glasses? Ah, que lo estoy limpiando. Oh, that's why. Right. Yeah, yeah. You look different. I was like, who's this girl? That's not Carla. Un intruso. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for the list who's the new student and tell me uh, how was how was your day i mean no you already told me what's the plan for the weekend that's the question um, nothing no much no much well i mean the same routine yes Oh, you told me that you dedicate one day just for the house chores, right? Yes. That's Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. So Saturdays are heavy for you. Yes. <clears throat> and Sunday, what do you do on Sunday? Eh, sobrino, ¿cómo se dice? Nephew. Nephew. Ah, oh, you take care of your nephew. Yes. Okay. Then, then you gotta tell me like this. I take care of my Nephew. 
I take care of my nephew. Okay, that's nice. How old is your nephew? What? How old is he? Santos años tiene. Your nephew. Okay. Um, ten y mi sobrina. Oh, your niece also. Yes. That's your uh, niece. How old is she? Mi sobrino tiene diez. Ten. Uh -huh. y my uh, sobrina. Niece. Niece. Uh, five. Okay, ten and five. Wow. You got a lot of work. Yes. Two kids like at that age are a lot of work. It's not that easy. <laughs> nice. Carla, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Before I forget, uh, Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina, say present, please. Hello, teacher. Say present. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Ivan Petrovich Kuzman Aquino. That's right there. Rosalina Alvarado. Present, teacher. Thank you. Let's see, am I forgetting someone? I guess not. Okay, let's see. Ingrid, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. It's, it's great, teacher. I am great. That's nice, that's nice. Yes. Tell me, Ingrid, it's been a long while for me and I just forgot. Yes, Ingrid, what, what do you do? Yeah. Yeah, what do you do? Where? In my house? In your job, in your job. I'm sorry, ah. in your job. Whenever, whenever you get that question, remember, siempre que le hagan esta pregunta, what do you do? They are asking to, a qué se dedica. Ah, okay. Uh, I, am, I am a communicator. It's very similar. A journalist or com communicator. Community manager. Okay. And still don't know. What do you do? Um I I create strategies for you um position this uh, this factory or Oh, how do you say brand? A brand? What do you mean a brand? A brand or oh, sometimes the people. Um, um, I create this or oh, uh -huh, create report uh, this uh, growing this. Um, how do you say it in the top? Tendencia top? Trend. Trend. A trend this this brand in the uh, in the Facebook, Instagram, uh, social media. That's interesting. Yeah. Quite interesting. Okay, yes. that's what I wanted to know. I wanted to know how do you do your job. That's some info that we are going to work in the class. Thank you. Yes, teacher, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. <laughs> there is Luis Mario. Hello, Luis Mario, how are you? Luis Mario, creo you? Hello, good evening. Okay, perhaps he's not available. Rosalina.
Hello, teacher. How are you, Rosalina? Fine. Thank you. Okay, tell me, Rosalina, um, <laughs> what do you do? And, uh, okay. Right now, I, in this week, I home office, but every okay. day. Okay, remember, Rosalina, whenever I ask you, what do you do? Is yeah. A qué se dedica? Okay, I am a be uh, administ administrator. Okay. And in another hand, I uh, small small enterprises. Pequeña okay. empresaria, ¿cómo se dice? Sí. Yeah, yeah, entrepreneur. Yeah, that's Okay, nice. okay, entrepreneur. Uh -huh. In the in the weekend, I hard work in that in in the weekdays in my job with the sports center. Okay. Wow. So you are very busy. Yes. <laughs> Also, mom and housekeeper. <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah, that comes in the in the in the TV, right? Yeah. Yesterday you say a chef. Yes, in my house, a chef invent the food <laughs> for my kids. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, when you are when in the house, we play different roles, right? Yeah. You are the you are the the, the housekeeper. You are the you are the landlord, the housekeeper, you are everything. <laughs> yes, but it's nice. Yeah, it is. It it's is. a dynamic you know, life. Yeah. Here in my house, I am the plumber, the electrician. Handyman. <laughs> the, yeah, I'm the handyman in the house. Yeah. What I need is more time. Yes. Well, and you also need money, you know, when you're working at home, you need to you spend a lot. But you have a, a lot of work because yeah, you need to, to review the homework for the groups and something. Yeah, that's why everything waits for my vacation. So my vacation is full time working at home. Oh, okay. I went in for my vacation also because oh, really? I think this uh, right now is stressful that because we need to finish the reconstruction. And then the time is very short every day, every day. For the climate, for the don't have climate, raw materials. Climate. Environment. Climate. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. No problem, Rosalina. Thank you for your participation and welcome. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Hmm. Marlon, Jonathan, hello. Hello, Joe. How are you? I'm fine. Sorry, sick and tired. You're tired, a long day at work? Yes. But for the, I tired for the, the, dolor de cabeza, hey. Oh, you got a headache? Headache, yes. And flu, grip. And you got the pool. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's bad. Yeah. That's very bad. But what can we do, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm going to let you. Throw a rest a little bit. Welcome to the class, Mister. Let's see. Let's see.
Uh, 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 um. Hey, Wilfredo. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. So, so, teacher. Okay. Okay. What about the weekend? Do you work tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Do you have to work tomorrow? No, Oh, that's nice. So tomorrow is resting time for you. Yes, teacher. That's great. Excellent. So glad to hear it. And what about Sunday? What do you plan to do on Sunday? What do you plan to do on Sunday? What do you plan to do on Sunday, Wilfredo? What is the plan for the Sunday? This is my mother. Uh, okay. I'm still in hospital. Oh, so sorry. Yes, teacher. Well, Wilfredo, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see who else, who else sits around, who else sits around, who else sits around. We still got two minutes. Luis Abrego. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, mister? Coming to my house in this moment. Oh, really? Yes, teacher. Oh. Okay, every day I imagine. From San Salvador. From San Sanate. <laughs> yeah, it's a long way. Yes, bitch. <laughs> but uh, I am really, really for the class. Okay, that's nice. Ready for the class. That's great, that's great. Excellent. Yes, teacher. <laughs> And how long did it take you to get to Sonsonate? ¿Cuánto le llegó llegar? <laughs> four, four hours. Hours. Four hours? Hours. Four hours. Wow. Yes, this, this, this is from five. From? Five. Oh, five. no. No. Since. 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 Okay. Since. 5 p.m. <laughs> uh, wow, yeah. A lot. A lot. Um, yes. That's a lot. But the good thing is that you're home. You can relax. <laughs> yes, teacher. Do you yes. work tomorrow? No. No, no, no. Okay, that's great. That's great. Yes, teacher. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. First activity of the night. We are going to talk. Uh, the first question is this. Remember that we are working with the, the topic is procedure. Okay. So what steps do you follow in your everyday work? Like in my case, let's see. In my everyday work, uh, well, I wake up around 5 a.m. in the morning and get ready. I leave my house around 5.30. I arrive to my job at 6. Have a cup of coffee. That's mandatory. That's the very first thing. Have a cup of coffee. And I also check my mail. Check my lesson plan for the day. 
And I partition up seven, I think from seven to twelve. The first group, and then I teach from 12.30 to 4.30 p.m. I come back home. I arrive home around 5.20. Rest for a little while. Sometimes I go to the gym at least for one hour. And usually I have a class from 7 to 8. Then I got a class from 8 to 10. Good class. And after I finish the class, it's a process because I need to, it's not that I finish with you and I'm done. I I need to wait for the video to convert into um, MP4. Then I need to upload it to YouTube. It takes me like an hour, an hour and a half sometimes. It depends on connection, actually. And when it's stable, 30 minutes, it's over. And then I go to bed around midnight. So that's my day. Those are the steps I follow uh, in my everyday work. As I told you, uh, the first thing I do is I check my mail, then I check the lesson plan, get everything ready for my classes. And then I teach the class during the during the, the time that I am teaching the class. I am also grading grading homeworks, grading activities. That's what I do. That's my process. Those are the steps I, I follow, okay? Now, you are going to talk with your classmates about the steps you follow in your workplace, okay? So, you're going to work in groups, you're going to have five minutes, so, you are going to dedicate, try not to be over more than one minute, one minute and now half explaining what you do, okay? No. Uh, I will be reminding you to switch. After uh, one minute, I will tell you, okay, guys, time to move on, okay? So you can like, everybody can participate. Let's see, groups are open, guys, let's do it. Um, I don't know session. Hold on, mister. Hold on, hold on, give me a second. The main session. Give me a minute, give me a minute. I'm trying to fix it. Okay, give me a minute. With my okay, hello, I'm, man. Give me a one second that I'm fighting with my connection, okay? My connection is bad. Hello, hello. Oh, mister. Give me one second.
Remember to switch. Remember to switch. Sixty seconds, guys. Sixty seconds. Okay, 
let's see. Hmm. Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be? Magdaleno. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Tell me. Hello. Well, sorry, Magdaleno. It's not your connection. The one that is on the table. It's my connection. Ah. Uh, I think that it, that was my connection. If you no, 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 no. Yes. Okay. I am looking at right now to the corner of my computer, checking out because it's giving me a lot of trouble. And I am not connecting with Wi-Fi. I mean, I'm with cable directly to the to the router, but I don't know. It's bad. It's just bad, the connection. It happens sometimes. <laughs> See, some, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it happens. Yeah, but pisses me off. Okay, <laughs> let's see, Magdaleno, tell me, I wonder, uh, whenever you have to preach, I mean, I know that you just don't happen to, to, to stand up there and start talking. I mean, there's a procedure. Would you mind sharing with me what, what the steps that you follow in before preaching? Ah, the step before preaching. Okay, teacher. Each preach have have pre, pre, uh, I have to prepare each preach maybe eight hour per forty minutes. A preach of forty minutes have a preparation is right. No. Okay. Una preparación. Yeah, yeah. What I mean is that I can I I have to study eight hours, maybe writing and studying and comparing and founding. Uh, um, meanings in the internet and books and dictionaries. I have to study before before I stand up in front of the the church, in front church. I have to okay. prepare a lot. This is the procedure. I have okay. to sitting in my desk and work with my computer. Okay, that's what I want to know. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, Francisco Ayala. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Tell me, what about you? What's, would you mind sharing with me a little bit about the procedures you follow in your, in your daily job? Um, there is a work that I can understand a bridge. What is the mean the bridge? Bridge. Bridge means puente, but yeah, uh -huh. so puente but bridge. I'm, yeah, but I'm I'm talking okay. now, right now about what is the, the question? The, what I am asking you is what's the procedure? Procedure. Let me text procedure. Okay. Okay. It's or or the question that I have here placed for you, the one that I sent you to, to to discuss. What steps do you follow in your everyday work? Yeah. What are the steps you follow? The, the first question. What steps do you follow in your everyday work? I mean. Like in my case, I told you that uh, in order to get to start working, I I have to prepare a class. I have to follow certain steps. You got me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes, okay. Uh, get up. 
uh, four o'clock. And then I take a shower and I put and I put my clothes and I through my work. When I when I arrive with my work, um, my first tip is turn on my my computer. Uh, while my computer is starting, I I I go to the buy uh, a glass of coffee. I come back, a cup, back a to cup office of and I a cup a cup of coffee. And then I come back to the office and I check the email. I and how can I say uh, organizo las actividades del área? I organize the area activities. The area activities, okay. And uh, and after that, I have to receive the the cargament. It's okay, cargament or chart. The load. Cargamentos. Yeah, loads. Yeah, loads. Loads. Uh, Look load. at the word. Yeah, loads. 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 Okay. And. I believe that result. Okay, thank you. Yes, I believe so. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, guys. Uh, okay, let me get the second appendum. Please. Carlos Antonio Serrano Aria. Say present, please. Present, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmon. Present, teacher. Thank you. Elwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Gustavo Javier Ramírez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Blessings. Okay. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you, Ivan. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Present. Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Present, teacher. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present, teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present, teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Vilma Yeseni Alvarenga. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present, teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Ivania Chamilet Domínguez Hernández. Okay, guys, now. 
Let's forget about this for a little while. Let's be. Next activity. Let me share with you. Teacher and me. I'm sorry. Uh, no moment, no. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. Oh. Who's the one I didn't mention? I cannot mention it. Oh. Nelson Antonio Rodas, yes. Thank you. And Marlon Jonathan. Marlon Jonathan Gutierrez Girón. Thank you. Is the problem with my connection? I said the names, but perhaps it didn't connect. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, now we have a conversation, okay? And the conversation goes like this. <clears throat> we have to read the, the following conversation about a new employee at a restaurant. I think I have the process equipment. Okay, let's see. And the conversation goes as follows. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or just slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. I repeat. Third, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or just slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer thinks they're signed the receipt and you keep a copy. Okay, guys. Now, this conversation you're going to practice it because we always need to find them. And that's speaking bad. You're going to say both, you're going to play both roles, okay? You're not just going to be one of them. You're going to play both because here when you present, you're going to present both, okay? You're going to switch here. So I'm going to send you to the groups, but you're going to have just three minutes to the practice. It's very short. Let me get the groups ready, guys. Okay, let's do it. Hello. Somebody is alive here. No one. Wow. 
Y esa moja sombra. Sí, va a ver. Hello. Ah, okay. Sir, I forgot how to how to process a payment. All right, first you give the options to pay in cash or credit. And then put it on you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints to the receipt, receipt, the receipt, and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sends the receipt. Can you to another group? Perhaps you can connect now. One minute, guys, one minute.
Okay, guys, let's see. Ingrid Beatriz and Carlos Antonio. You start. Okay. Um, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right, first. Sir, register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the registrar prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Moore. Now, switch. Now, switch. Okay. You start, Carlos. Okay. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. And put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Finally. Thank you. Now, Wilfredo and Carlos Elibaldo. You start, Wilfredo. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right, please you hit the button mm -hmm. to the pay and the card and the credit card after time tells you the payment and the put in the, the re re register or a USB the card now the card ready in the register print the re receipt and you hit in the back to the customer. Finally, the customer. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mo. Perfect. Now switch roles, please. Here, I forgot how the process I defined. All right. First, you give it the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then, then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep and copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Perfect, Mr. Moore. Moore. Uh, let's see, Francisco Achala and Magdaleno. Francisco, you start. <clears throat> okay. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. Sorry, so, so sorry. All right, first, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sends the receipt and you keep a copy. It's okay. Thank switch. you, Mr. Moore. Okay, okay now you sir. switch. Sir, 
I forgot how the process of payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in a in cash of credit card. And after that, take the payment and put it in the register in your slide, the card, through the card reader. Then the register print the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, okay, Mr. Moore. Per perfect, thank you. Just don't forget, first, first, first. First, first. Perfect. Okay. Now let's see, Antonio Rodas and Orlando Núñez. You start. Who start? Okay, sir. I forgot how to proceed in payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay. Switch roles, please. Oh, okay. Let's switch. Okay. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the car reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay. Okay, guys, hold on. Let's see, next. Rosalina and Holman. Okay. Sir, Sir. I forgot. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm I'm start. Yeah, you start. That's okay. Okay, sir. I forgot how to process a payment. <clears throat> All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. Mm -hmm. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card to the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give give it back to customer. Finally, the customer sends the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Fine. Star. Fine. Uh, okay. well, to... Sign. Sign. Well, Sign the receipt. Okay. Mm -hmm. ah, the receipt. Switch roles. Switch mm -hmm. roles, please. Okay. Uh, well, sir, I forgot how the process a payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, Take the payment and put and put it the register or just slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Perfect. Well done, guys. Carla Lisset and Luis Mario. Your turn. Uh, 
Okay, who is the star? You start this, Mari. Okay. Sir, I forgot how to process a uh, payment. Really? First, you give the option to pay in card or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card to the card reader. Then the I'm sorry. Then the register find the receipt and you give the back to the customer. Finally, the customer signed the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Now switch, right? Yeah, please. Go ahead, Carla. Hola. You start. You Carla. are. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Here, I uh, forgot how to process a payment. All right. Uh, first, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sends the receipt and you keep a copy. Perfect, guys. Yes, don't forget, Carla. Thank you, Mr. Moore. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, Luis Abrego and Marlon Jonathan. Okay, teacher. Luis, you start. Okay. Sarah, I forgot how to process a payment. Okay, please, uh, please wait a moment. Okay. Go right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in 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 the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register print the receipt and you give in back to the customer. Finally, the customer sends the receipt and you give a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Which rolls, please? Okay, sir, I forgot who the process payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register print the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signed receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Perfect, thank you. Ivan and Oscar. Ivan, you ready? Okay, ready. Okay, you start, Ivan. Thank you. Sellers, I will do the payment. All right. Here, 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 the option to pay a cash or pay the payment and the putting in the register or the slide, the custom, the carry, then the register print the receipt and you give is back the customer finally the customer sent the receipt and the receipt the copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, Oscar, you start now. 
Okay. Give the option to pay in cash or credit card. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sends the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I'm sorry, guys, my connection is bad tonight. But let's see what we can do. Let me repeat for you, guys. Sir, I forgot how to process the payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or just slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Okay, now, now we're gonna do a, a very, very interesting activity, guys. Let me share with you. Okay. This is the activity. Do you ever meet difficult customers? Choose one of the situations below and list and describe five steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customer. Then present your process to the class. Okay, now I will divide you into five groups. Each group is going to have one situation, okay? And I will tell you situation one, situation two, three, four, or five. That's gonna be yours. I will tell the number of the situation for each group. Now guys, uh, as I told you, I'm going to tell you the number of the situation for per group. So you can have it. Just let me get this ready. Okay, groups are created. I just need to make a slight adjustment. Okay, let's see. Carlos Antonio, Carla Lisset, Orlando Núñez, San Rosalina. Your situation one. Okay, just let me get the name of the situation. And Francisco Ayala, Jose Ortiz, Mardon Jonathan, and Wilfredo. You got situation two. Antonio Rodas, Carlos Elibaldo, Abrego Marmol, and Colman Sanchez. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad. Ivan Guzman, Luis Abrego, Magdaleno, and Oscar Armando are situation two. What is situation okay. number three? I'm going to send you the screenshot. Le voy a mandar la captura de pantalla so you can see it. You can see it. Situation three, the customer mm -hmm. says he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food. So. Situation four, Antonio, Carlos Elibaldo, and Coleman. And situation five, Gabriel, Ingrid, and Luis Mario.
Okay, now guys, give me just one second. Okay, I just sent the, 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 the screenshot to the groups. Les envié la captura a los grupos. Got it? Up to the, I send it to the WhatsApp group. If you can check it now. Yes, I see. Situation one, a customer is angry because he food was not delivered on time. Situation two. A customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Situation three, a customer said he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food. Situation four, a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. And situation five, a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Okay, guys. I need you to give me solutions. How are you going to deal with the situation? ¿Cómo tratarían con esta situación? I want solutions to those problems, okay? So, you're going to have eight minutes for the activity.
Okay, guys, 60 seconds. Okay, let's see. Situation. Carlos Antonio, Carlos Lisset, Orlando, and Rosalina, you got situation number one. The situation number one was that a customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. Okay, how do you solve? How do you face that situation? Tell me. Who's gonna talk to me? Carla. Rosalina? You can pick someone. I'm here. <laughs> okay. okay, tell me Rosalina. Okay, we have a discussion about that solution, the possible solution, and say uh, three, three ways. One, the, the food is free. Uh, the other one, if you pay with a credit card, refund the money. And the other one, uh, Orlando say discount in the next, in the next um, order, or uh, give a dessert, uh, for this. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Now, situation number two is Jose Ortiz, Marlon Jonathan, and Wilfredo Arevalo. Okay. So let's see where Marlon, Marlon Jonathan. Gutierrez Quiron, where are you, my friend? Mm -hmm. I guess wrong. Oh, there's Marlon. Marlon, there you are. I didn't see you. Marlon, the situation is a customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. What do you do in that situation? In that situation, the second. Yeah. The customer is very aggressive. Okay. Uh, the first thing is to call the client. The second is to find out why the aggressive. Um, I don't know. 
Okay, uh, yes, uh, we discussed as a team that uh, first we can approach uh, the customer and then calm him down, show empathy, and apologize on behalf of the employee, then ask what was the inconvenience, and finally offer a suitable option to the customer. Very well done and very well present, Jose. Excellent. Situation number three. Ivan, Luis Abrego, Magdaleno, and Oscar Armando. Your situation is a customer says he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food. Okay, what do you do in that situation? In with our solution is accept that you do not find and just that just accept but it is the most important in the in um in a restaurant because if if a customer is not satisfied he don't um, don't recommend with other people the situation is that uh, the the toothpick uh, may may be may can be uh, no podría ser it How could be. That? It could, could be. be. Could be a, a a lie, and the client maybe have not money to pay uh, the the food. You and if you give the food to the client, the client recommend with another one because he remember I. my food and they give me that give me that gave me gave me gave me that mm -hmm. okay it's a hypothetic situation okay that's fine let's see antonio carlos Livaldo and holman yeah you see thank you magdalena a customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. Okay, what do you do in that situation? Okay, teacher. In the first situation, no, in this situation, he uh, apologize to the client. Can uh -huh. you hear me? Yes. And, um, Get the get the right order to the customer, and and then uh, give a give a give a reason for the mistake in the in their order, and also maybe can say uh, the customer. Uh, just can pay only the only the, the medium to the order half half price half half price okay and the last one give give voucher for the next delivery order Mm -hmm. Sounds nice. Okay, you only that teacher. Okay, perfect. No, it's very well done. Okay, let's Thank see. You, Gabriel, teacher. Ingrid, and Luis Mario, you are last, but no lead. 
your situation is a group of, a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Okay, what do you do? How do you deal with that situation, guys? Um, the, the, for the situation, I recommend or we recommend uh, help them with pay from the table. Um, the payment call, call be any car. Um, you pay from from the cell phone. Okay, so we are providing different ways. Okay, Luis Mario, something to add? Yeah, if if the problem is the cashier, cashier, we, cashier, we recommend change the cashier. <laughs> okay, the first step, right? Yeah. Or okay. teacher, how do you say transferencia? Transfer. Transfer. Or, or the customer pay with with or via, how do you say? With 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 with, with transfer. Okay, with a transfer. That's yeah. nice. Excellent. Yeah, the solution, the solution is give um, many many options to pay to the customers but but solution that okay sounds nice yeah sounds quite nice excellent guys thank you okay now let's see well, let's talk a little bit more about situation. Okay, let's see. Carlos Antonio, tell me. Yes, ask me, please, teacher. Okay, Carlos Antonio. You are the manager of a, of a company. Your company provides the service. And one customer always complains about the service. What do you do with that customer? How do you approach that situation? Okay. First of all, I would like to ask you to call down. And then I can arrange a deal with him. Maybe I can give him a refund or I can give him a discount for her for her check. Okay. And I don't know. It depends what kind of situation. Okay. Now the situation is this, you know, uh uh, you sell food, you provide delivery. And I always complain that the food is too cold when it arrives to my house. I can ask you for apology because our food is cold and I, I, will, I will give you next time a uh, world food because you don't like it. If it is cold. Okay. Thank you. Now let's see, Magdaleno. Where are you, Magdaleno? Um, right there. <laughs> Could you repeat the, the, the situation, teacher? I don't. No, no, no. Yours is a I... different situation. Yours is a different situation. Okay. In my case, in my work. Is right in my job. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Magdaleno. Okay, in your case, the situation is the look, Magdaleno. Uh, I am a very, very bad customer. You know, yeah. you sell, you sell clothing. 
And yeah. I always go to your company. I always buy from you. But you are a, a, a good client with money. Yes, but I am a okay. bad customer with my attitude. Okay. And the problem you got right now is this. Ingrid is your employee. Francisco is your employee. Antonio is your employee. And nobody wants to deal with me. They are like, Ingrid gets like, no, man, I don't want to sell to him because he's a pain. He's always giving me problems. And Antonio is like, no, if I get to deal with that person, I will get into a discussion. So how do you deal with that situation? Because, I mean, it's good money. I always spend money with you, but I am not a nice person. Okay. Is that a difficult situation? Yes. <laughs> it's difficult. Then maybe... Maybe I... It's only one thing. I have to attend the client personally. Uh, okay. For today, and the value, the the worth of money, and I really understand the value of this man for my business because I am the owner, is right? Yeah. And then I have to attend these people personally. Personally or personally? Personal, personally. I have to attend this person personally. Per <laughs> in person, in person. Yes, in person. It's, more, it's easier. <laughs> okay. So, Thank you. Because I could be patient with them. Yeah, yeah you could be patient. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys right. uh, thank you very much Magdaleno okay guys okay. Eh, perdón voy a pasar al español un momento las disculpas del caso se salió de mis manos este día he tenido una mala conexión lo siento y créanme que lío particularmente por el hecho de que no trabajo con wifi sino que estoy conectado directamente al router nuevamente las disculpas esperemos que la próxima clase no tengamos este que hacer and also, guys, I need to remind you something. Do you remember that for the last week you got a presentation? Don't forget it. You have to make a presentation. You have to prepare a presentation. Para la la okay. So don't forget. You need to take to prepare a presentation, three minutes long, any topic. Up to you, okay? That's the final homework. So don't forget about it. Okay, right now, uh, let me get the attendance. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Thank you, Gabriel. Gustavo Javier Ramírez Carranza. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Have a good night, Ingrid. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Thank you, Ivan. Welcome. Al Alman Saul Giron Sanchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosta. Present. Juan Francisco Echala Montano. Present, teacher. Carla Lizette García Lemos. Present, teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Uh, Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. 
Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher, I have a up with the homework. Uh, could you give me a minute after class? Yes, sure. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. <coughs> Vilma Yesenia Alvarenga. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Ivania Chamilet Domínguez Hernández. Mardon Jonathan Gutiérrez Quirón. Present teacher. Thank you, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much, all of you. Have a good night. Have a good night, teacher. See you Monday. Work in the platform. Yes, yes, Magdalena, what was your question? Close your microphone, Magdalena. <laughs> Thank you. The platform is a little different. We have two videos and one homework. Oh, it's right? because, yes, it's because this module is five weeks. Uh, so okay. for the second, if you have noticed in the second section, in the section two, I am spending mm -hmm. a lot of time with speaking, more conversation time. Mm -hmm. Because ah, this is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me, tell me. This is my question for a lot of uh, video conference. Yeah, but that's why. It's because okay. the second section is longer. Okay, and then the homework are only the homework that count the platform there are only eh, la, la, las tareas que, que tomen en cuenta la plataforma son solo las que tienen el lapicito yep o hay algo más en medio no ok you got video si no unless, unless, a menos que abajo de un video yo les avise a ustedes, les he puesto una actividad como les puse el otro día. Ok. Uh, until today, is only one, right? Yep. Ok. We are on video conference number eight o oh, nine. Nine. Today is video conference number nine. Okay. I'm all right. <laughs> Estoy al día. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, teacher. Here, no, thanks to you. Yes, Orlando, tell me. The last activity that we have for this model, it will, it will be to talk three minutes, right? I will yeah, be... you... You're gonna talk about any topic. Remember, this is not like a mandatory activity, but yeah. that's an activity that is going to be helpful for you because it allows me to see how how can I help you? What extra help can I provide for you? Okay, okay, I understand. Eh, but that will be for Monday or for what day? No, 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 no. It's the last week of classes. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. No problem. Teacher, bye -bye. for Monday. Okay, teacher, have a good night. See you on Monday. See ya. Yes, Ingrid? For Monday. This no, Monday. for the last week of class. Okay. La última semana. Relax. Ingrid. <laughs> no, Ingrid was like, oh, no, I won't. I'm not doing it. No, don't worry. Don't worry. We got time. Okay. Tiene tiempo. Okay.
No se okay. enoje. No, no. <laughs> yeah, no, she's very angry. Oh, huh, man. No. Uh -huh. Better be careful. I am very happy, more happy. Yeah, you are a very smiley person. I am yeah. that. I wish <laughs> I were like you. Okay, guys. Have a good night. Take care. Bye, teacher. Or bye. -bye. No, you stay, Ingrid. Usted se me queda uh -huh. ahí. A usted lo tengo programada for tonight. ¿Qué hice de malo? Oh. Uh, <laughs> you are a very problematic student. No, I'm just to check that. No, okay. no, 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 no. Let's see, let's see. Déjeme ver. Es que yo tengo extra material. Okay. Okay, give me just a second. Let me show you. The internet is killing me this day. No problem, teacher. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh. I know that you are in an intermediate level, but I would like you to review. Me gustaría que repasara un poquito de lo que ya parece. Que repasemos las bases. Ok. Ahora, como este módulo es más grande, voy a tener dos sesiones con ustedes. Voy a tener la sesión dentro de unos. Uh, de día, nuevamente la vuelvo a ver. Ok. okay. Este, me gustaría ver cómo avanzamos. Vaya ¿Pudo ver el enlace? Ahorita lo estoy. Que lo quiero guardar en solo. Sí, mm, teacher. Be learning English. Ok. Is this the station one? Mm -hmm. Ahí aparece activity one, show transcript, le pone actividad que hacer. Es para ir despacio. No es básico, realmente es un intermedio bajo. Ok. Ok, teacher. No es like zero. Ok, estamos desde cero. Okay. But it's going to help you. Yes. Okay, teacher. Okay. Eh, si tiene alguna duda, por favor, me avise. ¿Y hay algo en lo que le pueda ayudar? ¿Siente que usted quiere ayuda extra? Ah, okay, teacher. Voy a revisarlo bien. Y cualquier cosa le estoy escribiendo. Ahorita ya lo revisé okay. y súper bien. Vaya, voy a estar pendiente, ¿ok? Ok. Teacher, I, yes, don't understand, I don't understand the first homework in the, in the eh, manual, in the plataforma. Complete no. the following sentence using the correct use of comparative adjective. Use the act. Puedo compartir pantalla. Sí, solo en un segundo. Okay. No, 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 no. Ya me acordé que es lo que quiere compartir. No, hold on. No, no. Y me hace En okay. un segundo. Número del ejercicio. Es la tarea 1-1. Tarea 1-1. En eso me he quedado, pero ya avancé. Que no entiendo los comparativos. Ok, section 1.1. Los comparativos. Ok, los comparativos son simples. Eh, el comparativo de superioridad se forma agregándole ER 
al adjetivo, cuando son adjetivo corto. Si el adjetivo es largo, más de una sílaba, si es de dos sílabas en adelante. Bueno, si es más de dos sílabas, usted lo que hace es ponerle la palabra more al inicio, pero ya no le pone el er. Ah, ok. More y er quiere decir lo mismo, más. Ah, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. No le agregamos la er, le ponemos more al beginning. Ah. Okay. Ah, ok, teacher. Interesting. Ah, It's for example, long. Mm, yes, for example, this red flower is more beautiful. Then, porque le falta una cosita más. Esta flor roja es más bonita que it. Then, then. The, the flower. More beautiful. More beautiful. Uh -huh. Then, ¿qué? Acuérdese que el qué de comparación es then, P-H-A-N. Teacher, entonces, por ejemplo, aquí, this red flower, el is se omite por more beautiful porque el adjetivo es largo. El que se omite. Is. Y yo no, pongo no, 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 no. No, el is siempre existe. Porque eso es el verbo. El verbo no puede quitarlo. Is more beautiful. Ajá. Then. Is more ah. beautiful than the yellow one. Ay, ya entendí, teacher. Ok. Thank you. Ahora. Tiene adjetivos acá que son especiales. ¿Cómo Ajá. cuáles? Big. Ajá. Big es un adjetivo de tres letras. Y el orden, si usted ve las tres letras, son consonante, vocal, consonante. Que uh -huh. hace, duplica la última consonante, doble G, y le agrega ER. Ah, ok. Pero esos son casos especiales. Sí, casos especiales. Ahora, otro caso especial es adjetivos como good, uh -huh. porque good tiene una forma propia. ¿Cuál es la forma propia de good? Ok. La forma de good es el comparativo de superioridad, es better. Uh. Okay. Porque de bueno no decimos más bueno. Lo correcto es decir mejor. Right? Uh -huh. okay. Y en, dentro de este grupo entra bad, que es malo. ¿Cuál es el comparativo? Words. W-O-R-S. Words. Ok. Ok. Ahora sí. Un poquito más de duda, le voy a escribir, teacher, para ver si me, por si me da. Sure, no problem. I'm here to help. Siempre okay. estoy aquí para ayudar. Thank you, oh, teacher. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way. Okay. Let me tell you something. Okay. Have a good night. Take care. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Bye.
go. Class is over. Let's go. Everything is okay with the recording. See you Monday.